What is up, everybody? It's me, Josh, Relentless Motorsports. So, I started looking for my 10 millimeter socket that dropped. And it, well, let's just say I still haven't found it, but. But it, it, it's gotta be somewhere. I'm just messing, guys. <sighs> I don't know how many of you guys follow me. You guys have known. My original dash is severely warped. That's common. The cracks. And the top area here where the gauge cluster went, this, as you guys can see, is warped. So... I had a guy who was originally a customer like you guys of mine who we just, I don't know, we're both ex-machinists, we're both super owners, we're both car geeks, both enthusiasts. He owns a pretty badass Celica as well, a uh, GT4 Celica, uh, JDM Alltrack, or GT4. Um, get this, just crazy i'm gonna pull in the heater core and all this i got a new foam kit from a guy i believe his name's frankie he makes them on the super forms had to drop steering column all this out me and him worked pretty much all day yesterday tonight me and my wife are ripping the carpets out i'm gonna buy some ritz dye and a spray bottle uh, and a like a like a mister bottle um and uh, I'm going to dye, not the floor mats. Those floor mats are worth a fortune. Mine are in really good shape. That's just lint and on it from the dash. Um, I'm going to dye these carpets black. There's a company in Australia that makes a pretty, pretty bad to the bone OEM carpet replacement. Not replacement, but rug replacement or uh, floor mats that are black. So the whole interior is going to be black and carbon fiber and... I pulled my carbon fiber rear seat to lead out just because it's easier to work on the car. I don't have to worry about ruining it. Working on some interior structures in the back of the car. As you guys see, the car is pretty much gutted. Um, lots of updates are coming. This is something I've been wanting to do for... Uh, uh, since I bought the car. Um, be, seeing all the interior out is kind of giving me some OCD it's kind of freaking me out a little bit but nothing good comes easy nothing good comes quick so here's here's to everything um I'm gonna be putting the dash in soon Soon, 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 soon. And uh, give you guys a little more of a look. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be pulling this bad boy out back here. That's the integration relay. I'm going to rebuild that. Well, it's out. There's a couple modules in the dash. They clip up behind it. I'm going to be pulling them out. I was thinking about going through this module here. I believe that's a... ABS module can't be airbag because my car doesn't have airbags I don't know it's dusty I'm gonna pull it I'm gonna clean it up um yeah maybe I'll make my car left-hand drive imagine that no I'm not gonna do that um this dash bar has a bunch of old dash foam on it me and the wife are gonna vacuum clean that up um, I don't know. I'm going to probably, because I'm OCD, pull this dash bar out, scuff it up, and I have some paint that replicates aluminum, or like a silver, kind of like where it's not rusted, and uh, I'm going to probably just go ahead and uh, spray it, because even though you'll never see it, pull the column out. I don't know. We'll see. It's just surface rust. Every car I've ever owned has had that, even the Corvette. 
which the Corvette's a much newer car. It's a C7. It's got stuff like that. So here goes one of the biggest projects of this build since I've owned it. I've got my SC300. Well, this is down. I get to drive that because I always have to drive a fun car. I've got a daily driver. I don't drive it. I drive my... I drive my race cars, project cars, around. Um, I'll show you guys something. So, this is from TBT Carbon Factory. They're the awesome people in the Dominican Republic that made this backseat delete for me. This thing is incredible. I love it. It fits perfect. It's a great piece. It's really enhanced the vehicle aesthetically and uh, I can't thank them enough there's the name now let's go look at my dash so this is a dash that came out of a Supra that had I think it had like 15,000 original miles on it in Japan that was in the process of being restored and I don't know the whole story something fell on the car damaged the car they didn't feel it was worth repairing or find parts so they parted it out I got extremely lucky and the car has been garage kept its whole life as you look this dashboard is brand new pretty much so four thousand dollars later which absolutely freaking suck compared considering you can buy a brand new super dash left hand drive at least last time i checked from the dealership for like nine hundred dollars or a thousand dollars somewhere around there so yeah i paid more for it but it's supply and demand it's something you know i needed i looked for it's got a little bit of dirt here. It's just like glue. Maybe they had like a toll tag reader or something on it. Um, I'm going to clean that up. And uh, this was actually a Series 2 dash. And so I found out last night when me and my buddy Mike were playing with it. Because to get it here to the States, I had to dismantle the airbag. You can't have an airbag. So I didn't know. It's missing the bottom brackets to hold it. It looks like they broke it. I'm not sure. I thought this was going to be floppy, but we found out that with some little clips that we made that go in here, it altered this dash to make it a Series 1 dash. So now I got the Series 1 top glove box. I got my little AC vent, which I got some plans for him. So, we, we got the dash. Um, it's here, all in one piece, shipping company had broke this dash, they broke it, my first time plastic welding, I plastic welded that back together, um, there's a little bit of a staple still sticking, I'm going to probably take a Dremel tool later today, do it, it's all plastic welded all up back here in this seam, um, and when the glove box is in, you won't see it, but... I got no more cracks. Like I said, this is just like a little glue residue. This stuff just, I could probably take like a little alcohol or even some dash cleaner like Meguiar's or Chemical Guys or Adam's Detailing, whatever, and get that up. Um, yeah, so there you guys have it. Super will no longer have a... Crack dash. I cannot wait. Those cracks, oh, they just, they irked me. They drove me crazy for years. I've owned this car now for almost three years. It's crazy how time flies. So I'm going to get the dash put in. Carpet's dyed black. Put my Sparkos back in. Um, put my carbon fiber rear seat delete. Get my new floor mats and start getting the carbon bits from all over the world. Um, lots of talented carbon guys, composite guys, um, working on stuff for me. And, uh, 
it should be it should be a, a done deal soon so there we have it later guys